Hello everyone. <laughs> We're trying something new today. Uh, as I mentioned in my Honest Booktuber tag, I am wanting to incorporate more of me. So this is just kind of a little trial period to see what you guys think of this. If this is stuff that you guys like watching. I'm just going to kind of talk about what I've been doing for the month of October and then uh, this is just going to be kind of a plan with me, watching me uh, make my November spread. So October was primarily orange and black. But for the month of October, or for November, this is literally all I have. <laughs> um, I have a much, much bigger pen collection. But if you don't uh, watch my other videos, or if you're new to me, uh, my husband and I are in the process of finding a house. We moved from Long Beach, California out to the Charleston area in South Carolina. So we're currently in an apartment and 95% of what we own is in storage until we find a house. So I thought I was only going to be in the apartment for about two months <laughs> and now it's looking like it might be more like seven months. So these are the colors I have unless I bought more pens. Uh, so we're just gonna see what happens. Uh, first of all though, I wanna take you through a look on my current spread. It first started out with this October video idea. I knew I wanted to make the, my Vlogtober series and I wanted to recommend one book a day. So I literally made a list of all the different horror genre, scary Halloween things that I could think of and then I tried to associate a book with each one. And then here I made a list of the ones I decided to do and then I broke them out into categories. So once I read the book, once I made my video recording, once I edited <laughs> that recording, and then um, if I posted the video. And then next to the check marks, I put the day that I posted it. So as you can see, some of them, I haven't quite gotten to them yet. This was more of, it was more than 31 options. So you may not see all of these, and I am looking at this here now, and some of them I ixnade. This is my awesome monthly cover. I normally don't do monthly covers. I really don't. It's more of a functional thing than it is um, making it all pretty, but I do like making it pretty, and I love Halloween so much. I had some extra time, so I decided I wanted to do this. So here is kind of the first page of my spread, and over here, I've really been enjoying this really simplistic OG <laughs> bullet journal calendar for the month and putting what I have to get done for that day that is like more appointments or birthdays or whatnot. And then at the very bottom here, I've been doing this goals, monthly goals thing where I assign three reasonable goals for the month. And then when I complete it, I put an X next to it. So actually we can put an X here because I did get a job. Woohoo! Here, this is kind of my habit tracker. I'm doing something a little bit different because I found that if I tried tracking too many, I just wouldn't do it. It would be overwhelming. So I narrowed it down to five things that I really wanted to get done, that I really want to focus on. Here I have working out, going to bed by 11, cleaning, reading, and then posting a video, which that was really important for me to do because I needed to post a video every day. Uh, let's go ahead and fill in today's because I did, well, I haven't done it yet. It's currently being processed right now, but I will have my Halloween video loaded up. I did read today because I had to read today's book. I haven't cleaned yet, and whether I go to bed by 11 is something I'll do 
I'm like I'll fill that out tomorrow morning and I haven't gone to the gym yet because that's something I usually wait until my husband's home now over here this might be a little spoiler because <laughs> some of these books I'm still in the process of reading but this is how I track my reading progress. I came up with this spread in my very first bullet journal and I just keep on coming back to it. It's slightly changed over time, but this has been, for the most part, the general format. So I'll list the name of the book here. So here we have Exorcist Falls and I usually use this stencil as you can see here of five stars, but I forgot I had my stencil, so I just hand drew these two. And then each square is 50 pages. So I will draw the box out on um, how long the book is, and then I color it in and put a little tab on how much I read for that day. A really good example is like Night Parade here. Oh, uh, this was an audiobook. When it comes to audiobooks, I do each square as 30 minutes instead because they don't have the page marks. So here for October 8th, I read two hours. <laughs> yeah, I was really into it. And then um, October 9th, I read for looks like three hours. So it's just really nice to see how much time I'm spending on each book, how fast I'm flying through them, and also if it's taking me a while to get through the book as well. It's kind of nice to know, or if it's been a while since I've picked up the book, it's like, okay, well, I, I should probably get back to that. Now for these, you'll see they're all kind of the same size, and I didn't really want to do this, but because I was reading so many books on my Libby app, they don't have a page count and it's not timed. So I didn't really know exactly how I was gonna mark that out. So I decided to do each box is 5%. So each one is obviously 100%. So it just kind of nicely turned out to be the whole page. But preferably I like to see how long the books are or how short they are. Um, I just think that's better for my brain and then obviously when I'm done with the book I try to put the day that I finish the book at the very end as you can see here and then I put my star rating so for this page um, I was just coming up with some things that we're wanting to renovate on our house trying to come up with a needs and wants list. This is stuff that we know we need to get done or we want to get done just so that we can prioritize if the budget's a little too much, we know where we can cut costs. This is another spread I made. As you can see, <laughs> normally I don't have to make two pages. I had to make two pages for this because I was reading so many books. Over here, um, it was getting to a point where I knew I needed to read a lot and I wanted to schedule out how much I need to read each day in order to stay on time. So what I did is this column is the book that I'm reading, or in this case, there's usually at least two books that I was reading each day, and then what mark I had to get in that book for the day. Here is the video that I would need to record and edit, and then, when I would need to post it. So I have the days listed here. So for this first one, I needed to read to the end of across um, those across the river and the witch trinity, I needed to get to 40%. I had to record and edit my Frankenstein video and the vampire video. And then I needed to make sure I posted my exorcisms video. Some of these I did switch around the posting um, just because it was a matter of what I wanted to film and what I wanted to talk about. As you can see, I didn't say on schedule, but it did help a little bit to kind of break it down. Here, this is kind of what I normally do for my dailies. I try to keep it really, really simple. When I have access to them, I really like using my stickers to kind of help decorate a little bit and make the page look nicer but I really try to stick to this really simplistic format because that's what helps me use this. Uh, I talked about this a little bit in my Honest BookTuber tag video, but 
we are doing renovations on the house. So we were trying to figure out, okay, well, how do we want the house? We're gonna have to do some major renovations, like tear down walls, like what would we want it to look like? So I drew out the existing house, drew out where the walls are, and we measured the house. So that's what's in orange is the measurements of the house. And then I just kind of copied, like I traced the outline. Well, did I trace it? No, I kind of flipped it. So this is what we're ultimately wanting our house to look like. And as you can see here, we're wanting to add on to the house as well. So kind of just playing around with this. Now the reason, you're probably thinking like, why would you put this in your journal if you're wanting to play around with it and possibly change it? Well, I was using these uh, Pilot Friction pens, which they're erasable. So it's not like pencil necessarily because it doesn't smudge like pencil. It writes like a pen, but it uses friction to erase it. So like here I have written closets. You just put a little pressure down and it's gone. So I use that a lot. <laughs> when changing this up and then I put in black my uh, non-erasable Micron pen or my um, Statler Triplus Fineliner pen. So that way I didn't erase the lines of where the house actually is, but I could still erase all this. Here, just making a little pricing list since there's so many things that we're wanting to renovate, we kind of wanted an idea of what everything's going to cost. So we were just we went to Lowe's because <laughs> it's right across the street. Took different things down, so that's what that is. Um, kind of tried to switch it up for the daily. I wrote down the honest booktuber questions so that way I could just read off them, and that's where I'm at right now. I was trying to play around and think of different things that I could do, but I really think I'm going to stick to what I've been doing in terms of like this page. Now in the past, when it comes to my reading, this is the page I always like to refer to. I used to do this time tracker thing because I was using the Bookly app and I would tie myself on how long I would read. And I really liked using it because I would write down the time that I would read a certain book and I'd color code it. So I'd write the book that I was reading or maybe that I wanted to read and then I'd put it in here so I could see, okay, well, I was reading every day this week, Friday I didn't, so pretty good week. Saturday I did a lot of reading you can see I got to multiple books there, and then I didn't read so much this week. This is also really helpful for me to see because reading is a self-care thing for me. So I noticed, like I remember looking at the spread and getting to around <laughs> the 27th, 28th here, and I'm like, man, I'm just feeling really crummy. Why do I feel so crummy? And then I looked as like, oh, well, I haven't been reading. I haven't been taking care of myself. Maybe I should read. So I made sure to spend some time that weekend to read. So this is what I was doing for a while, but what was kind of happening was I was more focused on being accurate with my reading time than I was with just reading as I wanted to. But I really liked doing this. I just don't know how I want to incorporate that with my current reading habits. So we're gonna kind of play around, see what happens. I was thinking, I was looking at my pens and I think I'm gonna go for more of a purple route for November. These are my two friction pens, so I kinda wanna make sure that I use these in case I do need to erase anything, but that would also mean probably using these two just because they are very similar in color. So that way if I write between the two of them, it won't show too much of a difference. I think I also wanna use this one too though. So I'm gonna write these and so let's get going.
guys so here it is I know it's super simple and it's not like maybe other bullet journal youtubers but because I am very limited on <laughs> my supplies this is what I can do so for my monthly tracker normally I do different colors for the days and then the day of the week but I just started and I was like, you know what, I'll just go with it. I'm gonna write in my goals later because I wanna think about it a little bit, but I did decide for my five habits that I wanted to be up by seven. The shoe is just to keep track of things on my Fitbit because I do wanna be more mindful of what I'm eating and how I'm exercising. This one is just to read every day. This one is to be either reading the Bible or doing like daily Bible verses or something like that. That's something I've been wanting to be more intentional about and then posting YouTube videos. I really like to see that progress and see how often I am posting videos just out of curiosity's sake. Now the brain dump is something that I've never really utilized before, but with so much going on in my life right now with starting a new job and this house process and wanting to incorporate new things into my booktube channel i decided it might be beneficial to try and actually use it for once because there's so many times where i have forgotten things that i needed to do because i just didn't write it down so in case there's ever a time where i don't think of what i can write in here i put some little uh, helpful hints at the bottom for me such as shopping to get uh, gift ideas, especially since Christmas is coming up. My parents are coming up to visit the first week of December and they're gonna be taking my brother and my sister-in-law's gifts with them. So I wanna make sure that I get that stuff done this month. Um, anything I need to know for next year, to keep a note of it here, things to look into, things to remember, um, just ideas, things to do eventually. And then here, as you can see, I started working on my reading progress. I, I brought this back because like I said, I really love this format. I love looking at it. I just didn't know how I was going to use it. So here, instead of um, TBR for the month, I put on my radar. That way there's not that pressure that all the books I list are ones I'm gonna read or ones that I have to get to. I really like tracking, um, how many books I've read and how many days I've read for the month. I know I can see it here, but I like filling up the space. I think I'm gonna put something here about like my favorite read of the month, just to make a little note of what that is. And then here, instead of writing down my times, I think what I'm gonna do is either like, normally I would color code each book a different color, but because I'm trying to read only like one or two books at a time, I think I could still do that color coding and just put a check mark if I read the book that day. And then if it is an audiobook, maybe I will put the time of how much I listened to the book. Uh, so I'm gonna play around with this. We'll see what happens. As you can see, I made a little mistake there, but you know what? It is what it is. I was able to fit the rest of the month, so I'm not too upset about that. Over here, um, here's a little sneak peek in the books that I'm going to start reading at the very beginning of the month. There are a few others, but um, these are the ones that I want to put most of my attention to, mainly because I've already started these two and I want to finish them. And this one is going to be returned back to the library really soon, so I want to make sure I get to that pronto. Um, as you can see, I didn't write out the boxes all the way because I don't know how long they are. I mean, I could go back and just use this generic length, but I actually want to try and put the actual length of the books according to my 50 page, 30 minute thing. This one doesn't nicely fit into either category, so I think I might just use the location numbers or something on the that are on the app so we'll think about that and then I already started out my Friday daily I don't know about you guys but I'm really excited about the uh, the Shane Dawson palette that's coming out tomorrow so I just kind of wanted to make a little note of how that's coming out tomorrow 
and then we have a house inspection tomorrow so I want to make sure I wrote that down but yeah so that is my month and if there's any other videos you want to see like I do have <laughs> all of this from earlier in the year so if you guys want me to do a flip through just let me know um, otherwise I'll see you maybe towards more the end of the month to see how I fill this out. Thanks for being here. Bye.